The Catholic Biblical Federation zone of the Caribbean is grouped with Latin America. It is one of the four zones of FEBICLAC, Federación Biblica Católica Latinoamericana y Caribeña. It comes under the Antilles Episcopal Conference, which comprises five provinces. Politically, within the five provinces, there are 13 independent nations, three departments of France, two parts of the Kingdom of the Netherlands having complete internal autonomy, and six British colonies. The zone stretches from Bermuda and the Bahamas in the north to Suriname, Guyana and Cayenne in the south. The languages spoken in the zone are English, French and Dutch, but there are also other languages that are native to some of the territories. It is referred to as the Antilles because most of the territories included in the conference are from the Lesser Antilles. However, also included in the conference are Guyana, Suriname and French Guyana or Cayenne on the South American continent together with Belize in Central America. In terms of the activities of the zone, I'd like to begin with the promulgation of the Year of the Word of God. In August 2019, I prepared and disseminated a five-minute video explaining the CBF's rationale and vision for the Year of the Word of God. It included practical suggestions to all the dioceses and other biblical groups of the zone, encouraging them to make good use of this opportunity to study, celebrate, and live the Word of God. In the Diocese of Roseau, the Diocesan Pastoral Center offered various courses on sacred scripture, including overviews of the Pentateuch, the wisdom literature, the Gospels and Acts of the Apostles, the Pauline Corpus, and the Catholic Epistles. Similar courses were offered in other dioceses of the region. We also studied the church documents dealing with the Word of God, such as De Verbum, the Word of God in the life and the mission of the church, and the concluding message from the Synod of Bishops, Verbum Domini, and Evangelii Gaudium. The enthronement of the Word of God was promoted in all parish communities and in all churches. Lectio Divina has been taught and encouraged for personal use as well as communal prayer. Recognizing the importance of the proclamation of the word during the liturgy, special training and formation courses were designed for lectors and readers. In June 2020, we convened a virtual encounter of the ABP representatives of the various dioceses of the zone. This meeting was attended by representatives of the Archdiocese of Port of Spain and Kingston, and the dioceses of Paramaribo, Belize City and Belmopan, St. George's in Grenada, Mandeville, and Roseau. Each participant gave a summary of the activities they had developed in the launching and ongoing celebration of the Year of the Word of God. In September, we hosted a webinar on understanding Bible editions from the origins to today. A total of 47 Bible enthusiasts participated in the webinar. The participants represented a wide cross-section cross of the men and women from the various dioceses of the AEC as well as others from the United States of America. Father Matthew Allman, a redemptorist, gave a brilliant expose of the history of the various translations of Bible from earliest times up to the present day. The year 2020 was culminated with our zone partnering with the zone of the southern part of Latin America. It was a collaborative effort highlighting the Word of God as the center and source of our entire life of faith and mission. So we partnered with Kono Sur, recognizing the challenge posed by language, the fact that the majority of the participants from the Caribbean are English speaking, while those from Kono Sur are Spanish speaking. The program included moments shared by the entire group and others where the zones met separately. The two major sections were the enthronement of the word 
a multimedia presentation incorporating the music, the voices, the languages of the two zones organized by the coordinator of Honsur. And the other was Signs of the Word, also a multimedia presentation incorporating appropriate scripture passages and images to emphasize the power of the Word of God presented by the coordinator of the Antilles. This was followed by a virtual celebration of the closing of the Year of the Word of God on the Feast of St. Jerome. The main activity of 2021 has been a series of virtual encounters where the zonal coordinators take turns in presenting some aspect of the Word of God. The first one presented by the Antilles Zone was on solidarity in times of natural disasters based on the social teachings of the church with the key scripture verse from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, if one member suffers, all suffer. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 26. The second, recently concluded, was based on the second beatitude, blessed are those who mourn, they shall be comforted. These are available on the blog of Fabi Clack and on YouTube and Facebook. I am Monsignor William John Lewis. Thank you.